main event headliner in Las Vegas. We know it's a big moment for you and a big moment as well for Pete Dobson, a guy who has, again, said yes to every British fighter that we've put forward to him. Those opportunities haven't arised. You've had two people pull out on you. This guy is here, ready to fight. It's the moment of your career. Las Vegas, Saturday night. Pete Dobson is ready to go. Yes, sir, I'm ready to go. I've been, um, I don't know if you remember when I first met you, I told you I'm one of the best fighters in the world and need to give me the opportunity. And everyone you sent my way, I said yes to. So here we are, February 3rd, two more days. I get to show you everything I was saying is the truth. When I saw you in the gym in Brooklyn, you, you did say to me, I can beat all these guys, I just need a chance. That chance has eluded you twice already. It's not going to on Saturday. Two days to go, you believe you'll change your life on Saturday night and defeat this man. Yes, sir. I, I feel like this is perfect alignment. Feel me? I feel like uh, it's just God's plan. Feel me? And I'm, spo I'm supposed to be here on this stage, and now I get to show the world. Well, I should have been a long time ago. One thing that you've talked about is your skills, you know, the way that you've been schooled within the sport. You questioned those kind of credentials of Conor Ben. We know he's very fast, he's explosive, he punches hard, but do you believe the skills? It's the difference between you two on Saturday night. What are you going to do? Have you got enough dog in you as well? This guy's a ferocious puncher. He likes to start fast. I'm a dog. At the end of the day, I'm a dog. I came, I came up the way, the hard way in boxing, you know. Um, Connor's father is a world champion, millionaire, so you know, he paved the way with his legacy. And um, he gave him the, the route that I would give my son, the easy route, where you don't have to struggle to get a fight. I couldn't get fights. Even on natural, I couldn't get fights. So it's like, I come out of the mud, we both got a different path, but it's just me and him when we get in the ring and we're gonna see which path made the better fighter. The, path when you had help from your father or the path when you got it out the mud? Obviously, we see him start very, very fast in those fights as well. You're expecting that fast start as well. You know, you talk about his father, he demolished Iron Barkley in a round here in Las Vegas 34 years ago as well. He comes out every fight ferocious. Do you have to meet him? Do you have to match him? Do you have to take him to the well? Do you have to take him in the late rounds? Do you have to out hustle him, out heart him? How do you beat Conor Ben on Saturday? If he comes out hard in the first round, he's going to get knocked out in the first round. You can stand up to this guy, stand up to the power, and, and take no, him. Eddie, I don't think you've seen me fight. <laughs> I haven't seen you fight. Uh, no, I can tell, because what you said. <laughs> I'm a dog. I'm a Bronx, you heard? <laughs> Plenty of confidence going in against this man. You, you believe this is your time? Finally, there's been a lot said. You I know. mean, that this this is my life. I put I, I'm in the gym every day with no fight, no date. This is I put my life into this shit. I sacrifice so much, and he's gonna feel my pain. He won't feel everything I've been through. Connor. Certainly an opponent that has talked at all this week. We know your preparation has been meticulous. We know every fight's a tough fight. You know this guy's going to have a lot of hunger. You know this is a massive opportunity as well, but too fast, too powerful, too good. What's the difference between you and Peter Dobson on Saturday? Because I'm a proper dog. That's the difference. You know, and I ain't got it out of the mud. He fights because he has no choice. I fight because I love to fight. That's the difference. If he had if things in my shoes, he wouldn't be a fighter. I choose to do this, I live for this, I breathe this. You know, and as for his green, like keep that energy, man. You know, we're sitting here now, keep that energy. You've been trolling for, for months, keep that energy and stop shaking. Green, you green. Yeah, you're gonna find out what green, green. is on Saturday night. You put it, you you're gonna find out what green is Saturday night, for green. sure. I promise you now. You you're gonna find out hours. what green is Saturday night. You ain't putting your 10,000 hours, my boy. You green, you can see it. Connor, for you, headlining in Las Vegas, and yeah, we was reminded of that stat. I've never had a UK headliner in Las Vegas. For you, it's unexpected, but what an honour. You know, you talk about following in the footsteps of your father and that legacy. I remember sitting up to watch the Iron Barkley fight. It was unbelievable. It was one round, but he was rocked. He was back and forward, and he, he took him out. You expect the same kind of fast finish on Saturday? I'm coming out of there, and I'm going to come straight to him. I'm going to come straight to him. Yeah, woof, woof. That's right. I'm going to come straight to him. I meet him in the ring. If he wants to go, no problem. I'll have a shootout. I'll prove him myself. And the more I'm talking, the more he's shaking. <laughs> you expect 
a devastating knockout. I'm, I'm, coming for, I'm coming for the knockout. This luxury kid live a privileged life, ain't got out of the mud, ain't got that story. But I'm gonna come out there and I'm gonna wipe you out. I swear on my life. And listen, I swear on my life, I'm coming in and take your head clean off your shoulders. You come down, you trying to take, you gonna get your head taken off. So I want you to no, come no, that way, no, cause no, you no, dumb. No. That's what I talk about being green. You're dumb. You think you're gonna come out and knock me out in the first round? You're gonna get knocked out. I'm knocked out better fighters than you. That's what green. That's what green I'm fighters not, do. I'm knocked out better green. fighters than you. Who has you knocked out better than me? Nobody. You, you fought is better than me. They're more known than me. They're not better than me. That's mad, delus mad delusional. Delusional is one hell of a thing. I like your own. It's mad. All right, you're gonna see. You're gonna see. Or Saturday. No problem. You're gonna see. No problem. Listen, the loudest one is the one, the weakest one in the room. Keep that energy. I don't know who sent your message. Whatever you say, whatever I don't know who sent your message this morning to pipe up. But remember, you're the one who'll be paying the price. Not the person who sent you the message to pipe up like you did the other day. You're the one paying shut the price. Shut up, shut up, bro. You talk too proper, you can't even talk trash talk. Just shut up. We get beat up on Saturday. Come at me hard, like you said, that's what I want. You're green, you're not smart, you're dumb. Your game plan is dumb, even thinking you're gonna knock me out in the first round. That's so, you sound like an idiot. <laughs> everyone, you know everyone here is laughing at you, don't you? Alright, they can laugh at whatever. You know, everyone, you know everyone's laughing at you and your stupid I don't company. give a fuck. What do you do? You need to stop shaking, bro. It makes you look really nervous now. Alright, I don't care how it makes me look. You're going to see when we get in the ring. Okay, you're not going to be shaking. You're going to be shaking on the floor. That's the difference. Bro. <laughs> see, you said the loudest person in there. You're talking about what you're going to do with all this. I'm not proving everything I say. You're going to come out. Everything you're going to feel my power. You're going to feel my power. You never fought nobody with power. You're going to feel my power. And you're gonna rethink everything you're saying right now. Okay. Colin, do you feel the pressure in this fight? There's a lot of talk about big names and you know, on paper, from the perception of the public, you are expected to deal with this guy in fashion. Anything else other than a clinical knockout is not good enough in your mind? No, I'm coming in there to yeah, absolutely destroy him by uh, that period. No nerves, just pure excitement. You know, this is this is what I do. Like this ain't this ain't no talk, this ain't no let me talk my way into a big fight. This isn't no let me, you know, use the story and the analogies, I've got it out in the mud, I'm this, I'm that, I'm uh, my record speaks for itself. Every time I've I've stepped up, I've proven myself. I've, I've done what I set out to do. You know, every single time. You know, and I plan on doing exactly the same thing come Saturday night. He's talking a lot. Other fighters have said this, said you're green, said you're not ready, said you're living off your dad's name, said you're... But when they get in there, I've proven different. So you know when I get in there, I'm going to do what I do. And that's uh, get the knockout in an absolutely devastating fashion. I'm coming in and take his head off his shoulders. But like that's, that's it. First round. As soon as that bell goes, I'm coming in there. I'm going to launch a heavy right hand straight his head. Follow with a nasty left hook. And then do you know what? I might finish him off with uh, another one too, if he ain't down already. One word from both of you before we uh, head to the head to head beat this moment for you you, you spoke a great game this week it's, it's not it's the truth man yeah. i've been overlooked um why you think your last two guys didn't want to fight because they did their homework you guys obviously didn't do your homework and um he's gonna see he's gonna see if he really thinks that his, he's fought an opponent like me. I know everybody says that, but he's gonna see. You're gonna see why I can't get fights. Why promoters constantly tell me, this guy doesn't wanna fight you. This guy, you don't do your homework, bro. Do your homework. You win on